Today, we are trying something that I am honestly terrified by. We're stepping into the world of burlesque. And real quick before we get into things, I just want to take a moment to address our rebrand. I go into a ton of detail about this in my blog and on the podcast this week. So those are linked in the description if you want to know more. But just so that we're all on the same page, we're calling this new era of the channel where we're creating content together as a group, the Schultze Collective. Making videos with my friends this year has just brought like a whole new life and joy to creating content on the main channel for me at a time when I I was feeling like walking away from this. I'm so grateful for them and for everything that they bring to this channel and just like how much they've inspired me to want to keep making videos, how much fun they've made it. And to you guys for coming along on this journey with us. You know, the collective is my friends who are exploring trends and fashion and self-improvement and body image through these videos with me. But it's also you guys and the community that we share. And I'm just so excited for you to see what's in store. We have some really fun videos coming up. And if you have video ideas, requests, or feedback, things that you want to see us take on through these videos, please let us know down in the comments. Now let's get back into burlesque. Burlesque is a style of performance that combines humor, sensuality, extravagant costumes, and dance. Historically, burlesque was a style of parody that used comedy and exaggerated movements to engage and entertain the audience. And today, burlesque has evolved into a diverse and empowering art form that really celebrates body positivity and self-expression while retaining those elements of wit and tease and glamour. So Ryan Palova and myself decided to try our very first burlesque class with the help of an incredible burlesque instructor, Vixen DeVille. Hey, I'm Kat Lacoey. I'm also known as Vixen DeVille. You can find me on Instagram at Vixen DeVille, all one word, and also at Kat Lacoey, all one word. Super easy. I've been performing burlesque since 2006. I had come to LA in 2012. I didn't know of any other burlesque class that wasn't dance heavy, teaching basic choreography and focusing only on the choreography. And to me, that's like one element of burlesque. And burlesque is all about you celebrating who you are, accessing the true version of you rather than the, the censored version you give to society and your connection and conversation with the audience and just going, hey, here I am, let's have that conversation. I want to provide that opportunity for people who, who were turned off by the idea of a burlesque class. All right, how are we doing? Are we all ready to have some fun? Yeah, ready to get a sexy good. on? Love it. I think I'm most nervous to take this class because being sexy still feels uncomfortable to me. At 27, I feel like I should be able to express my sexuality and in private, I feel very comfortable with that. In public, in front of other people, on camera, that's something that I think maybe partially because of my upbringing and like growing up in a more conservative Christian community, it was very shame-based. And so even now as an adult, I feel like this there's this element in my brain that's like, oh, it's wrong to be sexy, to, to show your body like this or to feel good in your skin. There's something taboo about it and that's something just for you or just for you and your partner. But I wanted to take this class because I want to push myself out of that bubble and be more comfortable expressing sex appeal. Also, I think there's an element of like being a theater kid and not a dancer and just having like flashback callbacks that I was never gonna be doing things the way that they were supposed to be. I couldn't keep up. I never had the flexibility and the jumps and the turns. And I know that's not what burlesque is about, but sometimes the second I get in a dance studio, that just pops back into my brain. But we're gonna fight it. We're just gonna have fun. There, I don't have. I don't have to make any cast list on this. <laughs> I was super shy at school. I didn't want to put my hand up. Dance scared me. Uh, being sexy scared me. Uh, any acting coach who's like, okay, be sexy, is like, I don't know how I'd be sexy. I don't. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> it's very oh, don't when I found burlesque. It was really that place where I could be bringing attention to myself. I had the reason to, I had the excuse for, well, cause it's, I'm on stage, here I am. So in burlesque, we're not going, hey, is it okay if I come in? You're going, hey, I am in the room, deal with me. Like you have no choice whether you just deal with me. For me, sexy is being confidently you. So we're not looking at trying to be anything, we're looking at just being and having fun. At the start of class, I am feeling butterflies in my stomach. I'm really, really nervous, but like so excited and blessings that the girls are here. If you're known for being a dancer, well now I have to be the good dancer. And it's the pressure of these labels that other people put on us of, oh, you're you're the geeky one, you're the fun one, you're the cute one, you're the whatever one. And then we feel this need to like be the thing people expect us to be rather than just going, 
well, who am I really? What am I really? So that's what I'm really gonna look into today. I'm nervous to take this class because I can feel my perfectionism when it comes to dance arising in my body. There's a lot of pressure that I put on myself to like show up and be really good and be the best because I'm supposed to be the dancer. I grew up dancing, so I feel like I have to go in already knowing what I'm doing, even though I've never taken a burlesque class in my life, so. So the first thing we're gonna do in class is we're gonna look at that mindset of What's the thing I've, I've learned to hate about myself? What's the thing I love about myself but don't want to show anybody? So we're going to do a little mindset, calming thought process to really start ripping that away, cleansing that out so that we go into the class all on the same page, all feeling super confident. Uh, we're just going to shake it out. We're going to do some shaky shakies. Shaky, shaky shakies. And just get into our bodies. We're going to bend over. Let the weight of your head bring your body down. You're going to breathe into your lower back and they're going to allow out some funny noises. So breathe in and let out funny noises, ah, beautiful, we're gonna do one more of those, breathe into your lower back. You can really use your act as an element of therapy because you are creating this act that is fully revealing to the audience how you want them to see you. If you've always been this high powered, powerful raw person and you're always got deadlines, you can go on stage as a free, carefree, loving, cutesy cheesecake. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I don't even know what I'm doing. Ha! Rather than manifesting or imagining or visualizing, you're literally embodying it on stage. I find it super therapeutic because you're just, you're practicing other versions of yourself on stage so that you can then habitually become that in your real life. So burlesque, burlesque, burlesque. It is not a competition. It's not America's Got Talent. It's not who is the best one, who is, who is doing it right. It is a fruit salad. Everybody in this class is a different type of fruit, right? So to jump into that fruit salad, I don't want to look at the other fruit and be like, oh, you're a curly yellow banana with a thick skin. Oh my God, I need to be that in order to jump in there and order to be accepted into the fruit salad. If I, as a little red round cherry, try to change myself in order to be more like you in order to get in that fruit salad, then I'm not a better banana. I'm just a shit version of a cherry. So rather than looking at what, what am I supposed to be to fit in to be allowed in this in this space I'm gonna access everything that I have going on I'm red I'm round I'm small I'm I've got a, a thin skin I'm squishy on the inside I want to bring all those things in to make that fruit salad the best it can be instead of trying to change yourself and mold yourself into that shit version of the fruit that you are not in order to please other people who are frankly never going to be pleased instead you're gonna shout from the rooftops I've got this thing I have this thing that I love about myself and you're gonna act as a lighthouse and a beacon for the other people who love that in you too. When Kat used the fruit salad analogy, honestly, it made me kind of laugh at the fact that we try so hard to conform. In the past, to fit in, I have tried to make myself small and less and just not take up so much space. Don't be too loud. Don't talk too much. Kat had me feeling so inspired, so ready to just let go and surrender myself to this experience. My nerves just melted away. And it was the most therapeutic start to a dance class I've ever had. So with clear heads, we were ready to get into learning about the three core concepts of burlesque and exploring them through some light choreography. We are gonna do some basic burlesque moves. Don't worry about getting these moves right or correct, whatever. They're just things to work on for the foundation of my core concepts. The first element I feel that's strong in burlesque is the idea of inviting people to look at you. So you can learn all your dance routines, you can do all your technique, but if you can't just stand there in front of people, just you and say, hey, look at me, then you're gonna look like a deer in headlights. So we're gonna look at just the confidence in inviting people to look at you. So the first core concept, exaggeration and isolation. So exaggeration, we're making everything 10 times bigger in this room. If it feels too big, make it even bigger. Shoulders are back, chest is open. I'm taking my wide stance, I'm taking up my space. If I'm gonna move left to right, I'm not gonna go left and right, I'm gonna go everything left, everything right. I'm gonna try and really take up all my space. Isolation, we're gonna really break down that movement. And the more still you can be, the more you know where you're bringing attention. I know looking at my hand, my head, my shoulder, my hip, my arm. And if I break down the movement like that, rather than it all happening at the same time, the audience is following that precise piece of movement. So I'm in control of what they get to see. We're gonna isolate just this area here, this beautiful sexual area here. We're gonna pop to the right, bloop, bloop. And we're gonna pop to the left, a bloop, bloop. I'm just gonna explore this motion, keep everything else still. The eye is drawn to light and movement. This is why we have glittery costumes and fringe and all that kind of fun stuff. Try to exaggerate as much as possible. Come back to center. I'm gonna tip the pelvis forwards. 
Sound effects are optional. I'm going to throw it back. Really stick your ass out. And we're going to go around in a circle to the right, to the front, to the left, to the back. If it feels kind of like you're getting this involved, you can hold on your ribcage to the right, to the front, to the left, to the back. And we're going to do a full circle as big as possible, scraping out the inside of the peanut butter jug. Get rid of the last bit. Beautiful. We're going to add some energy to that. We've got a bump uh, left to right. Bump, bump. We've got the grind and the circle. We've got a bump, bump and a grind. Beautiful. Ah, the bump and grind. I I usually get so in my head that I look stiff and awkward and like not sexy with this kind of dancing and just worrying about what I look like, how I'm being perceived. I look stupid, not sexy, but today I was like, okay, I really just have to let go and just do it and embrace it and not think about it because like at the end of the day, who cares? <laughs> so we got your bump and grind. So your next one, we're gonna do uh, the little Egypt. I'm gonna be on an angle to my audience. My leg nearest the audience is forwards, my heel is off the floor, pushing into the ball of your foot. This was named after the performer Little Egypt, which is why it's called the Little Egypt. Shoulders back, chest open, I'm taking up my space. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to straighten my leg and push my hip towards the audience. And then I'm going to uh, twist my uh, ball of my foot like I'm killing the cockroach. And we add them together, I'm going to twist and straighten and back again. Twist and straighten and back again. So you can have your hands above your head, you can have them at shoulder height, you can have them behind you. Ba -do, ba -do, however you want. And again, think about isolation. I'm not moving everything at the same time. I'm gonna move my arms first and then move my hips. While we were learning the choreography, I definitely found myself wanting to run it again and again and again like I would in any other dance class. And I had to stop myself multiple times from asking to for her to repeat it. I actually enjoyed not having that option because it took away the perfectionism in my mind. You know, we're not learning a choreographed full length dance. We're just learning honestly how to love the way our bodies are moving and looking and that's what I needed because if I had to do it like a hundred times I would have just focused on it getting it right. So we've got the move down the core concept is rotation of eye contact. We're not just um, a ballerina just in their own world there's a fourth wall and I'm just you know doing my beautiful stuff and we're not a chorus line staring at the exit signs like duh, 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 doing my chorus line stuff. We are connecting to the audience. You want to check to see if it's landing on your audience so that you're having an effect. And then how do you respond to having that effect? So I wanna make sure I'm rotating my eye contact. It's like the audience are like a multitude of children that you're looking after and you want them all to think that they're the favorite one. Drunk audience, children, same thing. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna rotate my eye contact. So my first thing, I'm gonna take my position. I'm gonna stare at my audience member. And when I feel them look back at me, I need to teach that audience member it's okay to look at me. So I look at you, you look at me. I give you a little puppy dog treat. It's totally fine to look at me. So now I've got you locked in and I've said it's fine to look at me, I'm directing my attention to my hip to say, and this is the part I want you to look at. So that's manipulation. I'm gonna break this eye contact and look at my other audience member over here. So I'm kind of juggling all my audience members. This breaking eye contact gives this audience member a moment of privacy. So now as I look away, oh, sigh of relief, I can't look at you. Now you can look at my leg and my ass and what my t-shirt says and all the things because you've got this moment of privacy. I catch you watching, oh, you're maybe in trouble, but I'm gonna smile with it and go, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And here's your puppy dog treat for doing exactly what I wanted. Well done, audience member. So your four times eye contact, connection, t -t 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 manipulation, blah, 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 moment of privacy, blah, 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 catch you watching, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we've got exaggeration isolation with the bump and grind. We've got rotation of eye contact with the little Egypt. We've got self-love and enjoyment of movement with the showgirl position. So self-love, you're just connecting with your own body. For some people, this is like normal Tuesday night. For some people, it's like, I don't know, I have not touched this in a while. You're teaching the audience that you are like a self-contained, ah, I got everything I've got going on here. Oh, did you want part of this? You can't have it, hee hee. So this is so good. <laughs> Like even just right. like the eyes, that ex the gaze, the gaze and yeah. the eyes in itself is so much a part of the performance. And like just from your eyes, I'm like, I'm sold. Right. right. It's uh, it's not, it's for you, hey, this is for you, self-love. It's, oh God, I can't believe how amazing my hair feels and how amazing my clothing feels and oh my God, my skin is amazing. And oh, oh, you're here? I didn't even realize because I'm so amazing. So we're gonna do the showgirl position. So same position we had with the legs, shoulders back, chest open, arms behind. So we're gonna lift the arms up very, very slowly. So my arms are going up really slowly 
enjoy that pressure of gravity against your arms. Maybe this feels better with your head down. Maybe this feels better with your head up. Maybe you wanna lean more into the front foot. Maybe you wanna lean more into the back foot. So now you've made those little minor adjustments. You're gonna rotate your hands so your palms are facing the ceiling. Put all the weight in your back foot and you're gonna bend at the pelvis, try to keep your back as straight as possible. Stick your ass out and you're gonna go as far down to your ankle as you can with whatever creaks and clicks might happen. You're gonna ease out your lower back, maybe that feels good for you. Yeah, and then we're gonna self-love all the way up. At first, I felt like a little awkward, like, oh my gosh, I've never like done this before, so it felt like a little nervy, but then after exploring, like she said, and really just feel your leg, feel your ankle, and just slowly feel your body, because there's that's something that's so beautiful and it's your body and it's a little silly to even think that for a moment there I was like oh my gosh to rub my ankle would be weird right but as I was doing that and just letting go of all my fears I was like super present and it made me feel like prepared for anything and at the top you're gonna say I am fabulous I am fabulous yeah you are you're gonna leave your arms up there we're not gonna rush ahead we're not gonna have to rush for anybody because taking up your time same as taking up your space. You're gonna let those melt down. Gorgeous. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go into the basis of your Balasque Act, which is your entrance, your self-celebration, and then your exit with no apology. So you're gonna strut into the center of the circle, whatever strutting means to you. It's not an idea of a strut, or you've seen someone else do a strut. I want you to have fun walking. That's all this is gonna be. Once you're here, you're gonna turn around the entire circle. You're gonna look at everybody in the audience who paid for a ticket to be here. Pick someone who looks fun to play with. Hey, I'm gonna pick on you. You're gonna do your version of the showgirl, whatever that feels like in your body, wiggle it out, all this fun stuff. You're gonna go down to your ankle. You're gonna say out loud, look at my ankle. Look at my ankle! Yes! Yes. You're looking at my ankle. Yeah. yeah! Now I'm gonna go up to the next thing. Look at my ass, look at my stomach, look at my boobs, look at my shoulders, look at my, look at my, look at my, look at my. Once you're done showing them stuff, you're gonna say, I am fabulous and you're welcome. And you're gonna walk off knowing that what you did was amazing. I am fabulous yeah. and you're welcome. Yeah! Yeah! I should be fabulous and you're all welcome. Yeah, we are. I'm fabulous. Yes! You're welcome. How do we feel? Anything happen? Adrenaline went like all of a sudden, and I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it felt like really good. I'm like, I can't mess up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like, That's the thing, you can't mess up. Yes. You've just been given like very basic instructions. You're just saying, look at my, look at my, look at my. And you're doing it with your own flavor. And some people are like, hey, look at my shoulder. People are like, hey, look at my shoulder. Like, look at my shoulder, bitch. And there's like different um, versions of you coming out. Like you can just put your flavor on it, and there is no right or wrong. You're just doing it and then we're going to explore character so we're going to really look at what is the real version of you that you've been hiding away or you've been putting a mask on for society because you don't think it's acceptable or so we're going to start really pulling out the different characters looking at the femme fatale looking at the cutesy cheesecake get the girls moving in ways that they want to move that feels good in their bodies so we have on one end of the spectrum this little lion here we have femme fatale other side cutesy cheesecake femme fatale powerful, in control, intentional. So if I want you to see my shoulder, you will see my shoulder. You may gaze upon my shoulder because I intend that to happen and now you'll never see it again because I own your very soul, more ha ha ha. Cutesy cheesecake is unintentional. High temper rhythm, nothing is of consequence, nothing is their responsibility. It's all unintentional. Oh my God, my clothes just fell off. Oh well, hoo hoo, didn't mean for that to happen. They're out now, Wee. We're gonna try both. Walk around the room, just move, leave for the space, walk around the room. And then we're just going to uh, listen to some music and we're gonna let that infiltrate your bodies. And as the music starts, you're just gonna let that music live in your body. And you're just gonna start walking, feeling that piece of music. And we're gonna freeze, we're gonna pause the music soon and we're gonna freeze in a position that for you is femme fatale. Hold the position, yeah, beautiful. All right, this is position one. What position is this? One. Yes, it is. We're gonna add some chairs. Kat had us dance to femme fatale and cutesy cheesecake music and find four different poses to embody each of them. We were really able to explore what type of character we felt most drawn to from that music that she was playing and how we wanted to best express ourselves within that music and character.
My favorite part of the class is when we were shuffling through different styles of music and we were all just dancing around each other. For some reason, that just felt so fun and free and I liked watching the other girls while I was dancing and also having Kat there doing the moves with us. It was just really fun. I definitely leaned more towards the femme fatale. I, I just felt like it was more mysterious and dominant and I felt like my personality feels more like that than the cutesy cheesecake moment. I feel like my burlesque persona is much more cutesy cheesecake because I can really play into that playful, fun, flirty vibe that I like to captivate. I feel like the cutesy cheesecake style allowed me to explore and really exaggerate the things about me that make me me. Whereas the femme fatale, I felt like I was trying to be someone else. Still fun to try and explore. And I think maybe through more burlesque classes, I can find a version of femme fatale that works for me. But cutesy cheesecake was just like such a blast for me. Now this is the best part uh, I feel of burlesque is the fact to uh, get props and costumes. So this is the pile of joy. So if anything is speaking to you, calling to you, like nosedive into the pile of joy. People think that burlesque, the character, the burlesque character is your mask you put on to go on stage. I like to think that you're putting on a mask for society and you're taking that off and showing your true person on the burlesque stage. I want you to explore your positions again. So my position one, is this, you've all got your own position one. So now I've got this, maybe my position one is this. Maybe my position one is this. So find how your position one has now changed now that you've got the props and costume. Cute, yes. And then position two, what's position two look like now that you've got your props and costume? Beautiful. And then position three. Yes, and then position four. So where we're at right now is that you've got movement that your body can do, that you feel good in your body, that you like doing. You've got props and costume that you've been drawn to rather than someone going, here, wear this costume. And you're like, I don't like this. So I'm doing moves that I don't like and the costume I don't like to music I'm not really feeling great about. Instead, you're doing moves that you love, costume and props that you love, and then music that you love. Your act is this thing that fires you up and then you bring it to the audience and share that joy with the audience. With our costumes and props ready, it was time for the performance and I was actually feeling like not too nervous. I feel like I let go of so many of my preconceived notions about what a burlesque performance should look like and the right way to do it. And I felt like I could just be me and the performance is about me having fun and letting go and improvising and just showing who I am. So I really can't mess it up. Fabulous, so we're gonna move there as like audience members. So either start on stage in your position one. You can also start with your back to the audience, bob -om, so that you've got your reveal. Hello, here I am, and then move on. Or you can start off stage, and maybe your entrance is, hello, I'm in my position one, boom. Then exactly what we've done, position one, find your way into position two, uh, find your way into position three, and then you're gonna travel to your audience. So I added a travel in there, however you wanna travel, travely, 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 travely. And then you're gonna interact with your audience in a family-friendly way. <laughs> the same way we did the ankle circle and you got a feel for who you want to play with, that's exactly what we're doing here. And we're warming up to the person who's not wanting it, but we're, we're noticing when someone comes towards us. So harass the audience, however you wanna harass them. Then you're gonna travel, 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 travel into your position four, position four. And then you're gonna make your memorable exit, however you want to exit. It. Maybe you want to exit here and hide behind the chair. Maybe you want to exit over here. I'm exiting now. Hee <laughs> hee. If you want to exit by just turning your back, I'm done. You can do that as well. As long as you're having fun, stay up there. Once you feel you're done, you're done. Um, who wants to go first? You're going first? I'll go first. Yeah. Yes.
gorgeous. I think my performance went really well. The girls were screaming, and so that was giving me the confidence boost that I needed. I felt like I was in control while I was performing. Like, I felt like I really had the audience, and by audience, I mean the girls, eating out of the palm of my hand. I was, I was eating it up. My favorite part of my performance was when I put the fans on my butt, and I was, like, waving them like a bird. Like, I felt like... What are those birds? What what are the ones? Like peacocks, where they just like shake their feathers? That's what I felt like. I think if you're nervous to try burlesque or anything for that matter, add a prop. It helps. back I fully let go in the experience I really wasn't thinking about like what I look like how it's gonna look on camera how it's gonna be perceived I was just like let me entertain this audience of my friends like let me bring the elements of burlesque that we learned and there was a lot of like wrist action going on I don't know where that came from but while it may not have been this idea of what I thought burlesque was supposed to be this was the way Sierra does burlesque and you know I let go and that can be a really hard thing to do and I'm really proud of myself. I find a lot of the times in those situations I like laugh it off so I don't take it too seriously because if I'm laughing at myself no one can laugh at me and I'm really proud of myself for just taking it seriously and having fun and fully committing. I would feel more sadness and regret watching this back if I saw myself holding back and I definitely didn't hold back. <laughs> yes! that performance I felt so alive I felt that spark that I am constantly chasing in that performing and it was just a little reminder that I love this so much and I just was focusing my attention on the girls and the entertainment and it just felt so like hearing their reaction and seeing the smiles on their face was like so great as a performer like I just wanted to keep giving more because they were giving me so much so much that I in the moment took off my gloves that was not planned I don't know what came over me it was more just being present and letting yourself feel free and that's what that performance made me feel and so I just felt so alive. Burlesque is just entirely different than I thought it would be going into this class. Like honestly, before this, my only knowledge of burlesque was like the Christina Aguilera movie and like the Broadway show Cabaret, if that counts. <laughs> Actual burlesque is just about being yourself, taking off the mask that you show to society, bearing yourself on stage and tapping into a character and elements of sensuality and entertainment. And it's a whole niche of performance that I didn't feel like I would ever be cut out for that now I feel like doesn't seem so intimidating. The thing that surprised me most about the class was that there really are so many different styles of burlesque. Like there's no one way to do it. And I think that's what makes dance in general just so fun and so versatile for everyone. What I'm leaving with after this dance class is that little nugget of knowledge knowing that I can keep trying to be the, be the best of what I think, quote unquote, I think is the best, but I'm only gonna shine if I embrace what I have and what 
I bring to the table and be myself fully rather than trying to change and do something else because I'm not a banana. I let go of so much through this class. I feel like I let go of trying to fit the mold of what other people think I should be. I let go of fear of being a bad dancer. I let go of fear of expressing sex appeal and I just gained so much confidence. I think by the end of the class, I was finally able to let go of my dancer perfectionism because I really realized that that's not what burlesque is about. And having the girls there by my side was just everything I needed. I think I would have been fully trying to do this perfectly by myself without the girls. I feel like this class really impacted me and has shown me that I can fearlessly be myself and not have to always check in and make sure you're doing it right because only I know what's right for me. And so I'm gonna keep being myself and show what I have to offer and just do that full out. I'm walking away from this class with just so much more confidence, so much less care about how I'm gonna be perceived and how other people see me, and so much more celebration of myself exactly the way I am. And that was our experience taking a burlesque class. We had such an amazing time and just left the class feeling so empowered and joyful. Huge thank you to our instructor, Kat, for making all of that possible. Her links are in the description. Please make sure to follow her. She just absolutely made this experience feel so special for us. Ryan Paloma and I were all vlogging during the day, so make sure you check out all of our vlog channels. They are linked below for some behind the scenes. And um, we also have a podcast together, if you didn't know. It's called 20 Whatever. Next week's episode is going all in depth about our burlesque experience and some of the things that you didn't get to see in the video. That's gonna be up next week, so you can click the card up there to check out our 20 Whatever YouTube channel. Subscribe, new episodes every Wednesday. And you can find the audio Video version wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you all so much for watching. Be confident, be kind to your body, and we'll see you next time. Bye!